Hey guys, Chris from Tillman Family Farms. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you haven't done so, please go down and like and subscribe and ring that bell so you'll see all the videos that we put out. Also, don't forget that we have a Starkline discount code. Um, that's going to be down in the description below as well. Uh, Starkline and, and Tillman Family Farms have kind of been partnered, so to speak, for the last probably year, maybe year and a half. Um, they gave us a discount code a while back and it has done very well. Uh, there's been a lot of people watch the videos and, and have used that discount code. And they've just recently redone that discount code for 500 discounts. So down below, check out the discount code. Today, we're gonna be talking about the latest or one of the latest products from our friends over at Starkline Netting. Um, so as you guys know, if you watch the channel pretty regular, um, we use Starkline Netting for our pigs, for our chickens and um they have come out with a poultry gate um that looks to me like it's better than any of the other poultry gates that i've seen so they sent us one to put together and try out um and what i will do is i'm going to post a link to their um video on their youtube page to where they put it together and uh, they show you all the ins and outs of it. Um, I'm going to put it together and put my fencing up for the turkeys. The turkeys are here. Uh, so the turkeys are going to run, uh, they're going to be able to day range in netting. So we're going to set that up and we're going to set this poultry gate up and I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to use it and hopefully it will make it a little faster to break down and move every time that they're ready to move the way that we're gonna do it. Stick with us. All right, so this bad boy is pretty nice. Um, it has a full frame on it. This is it standing back here. Um, I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna show you guys kind of the pieces and parts. Uh, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver and it looks like a uh, 5 16 or eight millimeter nut driver, I think. I'll have to look at it again, but anyway. So it comes with two of these poles. They got some great big, look at look at those spikes on that thing. That's way longer than anything on the actual um, netting itself. So basically you got two of these. So what you do, you have to put the gate up before you do anything else. So you get your pole in the ground. The gate comes and you have to put this top pole and then this one and then the one at the bottom it comes with screws for all that stuff the rest of this stuff is on here so these are going to be your hinges there's two on this side and then there's one on that side okay so this thing is as simple as what you just thought it was when you saw all that stuff so basically you get your first pole in So there's your hinged gate. I'm gonna move this thing so you can see a little bit better. So there's your hinged gate. Now, all you gotta do is take your other pole and line it up so that it can go into this one. So let's do that real quick. So now, when you come back here, all you're doing is picking your gate up. Oh, and at the bottom of the gate on that side, there's a spike. So you can get it in the ground to where the whole thing is pretty secure. I'm gonna take this camera down so I can show you this a little better. All right, so here's your gate all set up. So you got these two. One, two, got big bad boy spikes in the ground. And then on this side, this is how you latch your gate. So watch this. So you just pull it up and you swing your gate open. And it looks like they've thought of everything. So you don't have to physically disconnect your wiring from this. So they've got these. And this is the way they're gonna do it. And I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it this way. So they've got these right here. This has got this long, piece on it and you can take that and you can bring it back to the netting that will be here 
and connect it and that'll give you electricity but then they've got this other wire which is there and what they want you to do with that is they want you to connect it to the netting on this side and then they want you to take a shovel go in the ground pop it back up and connect it back to the wire on this side I think that for moving this that that is not gonna get it for me so I was proactive and I bought two sets of alligator clips I think that when it's time to do this I think that rather than digging this wire up and moving it that way and having to rebury the wire I think that this will work just fine with those clips all right so I got the gate set up I'm gonna take that uh set of netting i'm gonna get it put up real quick um and once i do that i'll show you the alligator clips and how we're going to use this and we'll go from there um i'm trying to get this video in. it's trying to rain on me a little bit so hopefully i can get all of it in all right so my lovely wife is here to help demonstrate so that's on you can't see that thing on the screen though can you huh. anyway charger's on this is our gate this is our beautiful assistant. I'm excited about this gate, guys. Yeah. So the way that we have it set up, she's gonna unclip the one on the right that's actually on the netting. She's gonna clip it back to the gate. Simple. Now she can open it up. So it's open. closed and she can go in and let the turkeys out of their netting or out of their their uh thing she didn't hear me let the turkeys out of the thing <laughs> y'all i do not have to climb over this fence with a bucket a feed do you see how do you do you see how tall this fence is just remember it's on <laughs> i know it's on but this is going to be amazing yep yeah so this gate couldn't have come at a better time because and, and actually we may end up with some more of these gates because um, we had uh, an incident where she was working the farm by herself. She had a 50 pound bag of feed. She went over this fence and buddy, it took her down and um, we needed something like this. But anyhow, that's how it works. Works nice and easy. That's our UGA ground rod over there. Go dogs. So guys, there it is. Another great product from Stark Line. Um, this thing is going to be great. I, you know, it's like I was saying a minute ago. I really think that we'll probably end up with some more of these. Um, at least for the chickens. I probably wouldn't ever put one of these on for the pigs just simply because it's not very secure at the bottom. But I think it's a great tool for poultry, uh, whether you're day ranging turkeys or chickens, or if you have an egg layer set up, I think it's great for that. So um, go check out their site. I'm going to have all the links down below. To the discount code to their video and instructional video on how to put this thing together and to their youtube page so y'all go check those things out we appreciate you guys watching and we will see you on the next video